chocolate, and then and then like the roast garlic. That's cake so around. weird. So Marisa's here. She went to a garlic festival and brought us back all different kinds of garlic. Italian, Spanish, Turkish, Vietnamese. Uh, what's this? Oh, Yugos Yugoslavia, yeah. you know. Um, German. How neat, huh? I was just telling them how I was going to make some spices, too. And she brought this nifty thing. It slices up the garlic. Look at it. Slices it real nice and thin. Yeah. So I guess we're going to try to dehydrate some of this and make spices. And then this stuff we're going to plant. I'm going to plant, plant it now. And then I guess you pick it in all April. And then you can put it... Mm. Pretty cool. Try it out. It lasts up to eight months. The smaller ones last the longest, and the smaller the clove, the more potent. It, and the larger. Yeah. Potent it. Smells pretty good in here. All right, guys. Here's the garlic um, that I'm dehydrating. I just sliced it all with that, or that sliced it all. That thing was great, actually. And I got. Almost five trays out of that one bag. This is the dehydrator I have. I'm going to plug it in outside on the front porch so that the whole house smell doesn't smell like garlic. And I'm just going to set it for vegetable, so 125. And I think it takes like, I don't know, 12 hours or something. Maybe not that long. I'm not sure. We'll see. So here's our garlic. It's only been in the dehydrator for seven and a half hours, but it's looking pretty, pretty good. I got this nifty little thing. I'm gonna try chopping this up and see if it's dry enough. I don't know where the cover is to this thing. I think it's dry enough. Thought it would take a lot longer. Let's try it out. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let me put something over this. <laughs> There it is. Looks pretty good. It's like a food processor would work a lot better, but I don't have one. There we go, there's your garlic. Garlic powder. If you want garlic salt, they just add salt to it. Hmm. Pretty neat. What do we have here today? Monday? Hmm. Yes, it's Monday. It's late. Nine past eleven. This day's going by too fast. I hate when that happens. So I'm just kind of putting around the house today. It's kind of chilly out and rainy and foggy. It is foggy. Hey, Bobo. I have a few things that I really need to do. I need to unload this dishwasher. Look at this. Can you guys see that burn that I got on my arm? I got that when I was making these damn cookies. I took the pan of cookies out and put them right here, and Bo was laying right here, and I almost tripped over him and whacked my arm off the hot pan. Good times. You saw the garlic that Marisa gave me yesterday. So, I need to unload this dishwasher and fold some laundry. What else? I just threw my bathrobe in the washing machine because it reeked like garlic. I'm making this garlic powder. That one little, well, not little, it was a pretty big bag. 
did not seem to give me very much, but this is, um, Dave said he was looking at it, and he said it was six ounces, I believe. He, yeah, six ounces. So the spice bottles that we buy are about, well, I guess almost close to three ounces. So that will do probably two bottles of that. I haven't decided if it's worth it yet or not. What is getting stuck here? I need to change these drawers around. I was thinking of maybe clearing out this cabinet. This is where I have all my tea and coffee and mugs and stuff like that. I was thinking of clearing it out because I really only use a couple of things from here. So if I organized it better and got rid of some stuff we don't use, maybe I could put these spices up there and some of my bacon stuff. Oh, let me show you guys. Oh no, that's not it. She must have put it in our room. I want to show you the mug that Brooke just painted at the pottery painting place. It came out so good. It was one of those breast cancer cups. It's really pretty. She did a really good job on it. So, oh, I never checked the mail over here. Brooke must have brought it in. All right, well, that's what's going on here. I've been going back and forth to my craft room trying to get a little bit done. It's just a never-ending thing. We switched to these cups a couple of weeks ago. I found them at Walmart for 50 cents for one. They're in the clearance section. And I just thought that was so much better than buying paper cups all the time. And these are so easy to clean. So we've been using those. Did Bo just steal something from my craft room? Nope, good boys. And that over there, I just finished editing a video. Which, you guys are probably going to be like, what the heck happened at the end? Because I was supposed to be going to a card game, and I was making a pot pie, and right before I finished the pot pie, I just started feeling awful. So I actually wound up not going to the card game, which kind of stunk because I wanted to go and see Dave's sister. And, I, you know, I made food for it, too. But I wound up bringing the food over and just coming back home and relaxing. I just was not feeling good. I don't know what my deal is lately with getting sick. I really think it's from stress. You know, you stress out about things and your immune system gets no good. I don't know. I just, that's what I think. So I'm going to put these dishes away. Ooh, and break them while I'm at it. That one needs to be washed by hand because it's not clean. All right. Tonight's dinner, Monte Crisco Thanksgiving sandwiches. And I'm gonna make some carrots to go with it. Oh, I should show you guys these. I made these yesterday too. They actually didn't come out as good as they usually do. There's this recipe and there's their peanut butter pretzel chocolate covered balls and they're really good but you're supposed to use melting chocolate and all I had was some mini semi-sweet chocolate chips so I melted those in the microwave with some milk but they don't taste as good I'll have to show you guys oh no I think I have a recipe video on that actually carrots I have enough yes we do Right. Hmm. All right. Oh.
Look at this mess I'm making. I'm telling you. This is a little bit better. I need to pick up some more mason jars for a couple other things in there. Then I can fix that spot. And I need some more mason jars for this cabinet. This is my bacon cabinet. And then I just moved the coffee and stuff to this cabinet. But I have to find a cabinet for the mugs. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. This cabinet is a mess. Yep, that's what that is. Let's shut that. <laughs> Maybe I can put the mugs in here. Hmm. That's not that bad of an idea because it's right near this stuff. Maybe I can even put the regular cups in there. I don't know, guys. We're definitely not going to call this um, vlog Cabinet 101 because I don't have a clue on what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to work on dinner here. It's already that time. It's quarter to six. I took a nap around one and got up at five and I've been on the phone since. I've been trying to rest because, well, because I'm not good at resting and I'm still sick. So, but now I kind of just feel like sh uh, not good from resting, if that makes any kind of sense. I don't know, I just woke up all like, ugh, like shaky. But, we'll be just fine in a couple. Actually, I'm kind of just fine now. But at first I woke up, I was kind of, kind of weird. I, I don't know. I, I think it's seriously just from sleeping during the day. So, did I tell you guys? There's something seriously going on in this house. I had this wonderful potato peeler. Yes, it was wonderful. And it magically disappeared. So I bought another one, a piece of junk actually. And you know what? It's gone. <laughs> something is going on. Potato peel, you know what? I'm wondering if every time I use um, like I'm peeling potatoes or anything, I do it on a paper plate and then I think I set the potato peeler down on the plate and put trash and stuff on it and forget and throw it out. So I think I've thrown them out. So that's, that's good. That's that. What the frig is that? So now we're gonna scrape our carrots with a knife because that's what we have to do. I got a little bit more done over here. This, I wound up moving the mugs here. <laughs> this is just a friggin' mess. This isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. And the drawer that had the spices in it, I just put sandwich bags and stuff like that. And then I was able to put more of this type of stuff in this drawer. So, that's what's going on. I'm making Monte Crisco Thanksgiving sandwiches. And I have a video on that. I just made the stuffing. Really what it is is like Thanksgiving in a sandwich and then you dip it kind of like you would French toast and fry it. And it's very good. And I just realized that I don't have any cranberry sauce. Maybe I can have Dave pick some up. All right, I gotta fight with these carrots. Doesn't that look good? I really wish I didn't get the cranberry sauce. Dave's just now getting home, and I forgot to ask him, actually, to pick it up. But that's okay. We have carrots, sweet carrots in here. 